Hey everybody, welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Ramp. And I'm Noelle McVoy. And this is Asaf Adonai on piano. Yep. Good morning, everyone. Happy we Wednesday. We had a uh, different uh, intro yeah, this morning. Just kind of like something, a little, a little thing that I did. And also I have another special thing for you guys later on oh. as well. I did a little poem with some <laughs> visuals as well. Um, I think that if I ever going to read any kind of like interesting like poetry or anything like that, mm -hmm. I'm going to try to add a video that it helps emphasize that poem as well. Yes. Well, if you... Uh, That's if you, a great if, idea. If, if you, uh, okay, so if you, if you know me, you, <laughs> you know that uh, my poetry is kind of ironic, and if you don't know me, you think this is kind of pompous. And but Scott's it, grumpy, so like, if you know that, you like this more, but I have not heard this yet, and I'm very excited. All right, here so is, So without further um, ado, yeah. Here is the um, poem. <laughs> <laughs> I am Tree. I've been here for as long as I can remember, through cold to mild winters, to the blazing heat that comes from heat wave to cold snap, I am tree. I've stood through many things, especially time itself. Time, so much time. At first it felt slow. Now I blink and time skips. I see young become old, and old become dust. The sky swirls around me like a milkshake in a blender. The sweet sky that gives me life. I don't give life, though I am a tree. You cannot eat from me. You can stand under me. I miss my leaves. They would shelter you, but not anymore. It's almost winter. Time to sleep. Maybe sleep will make me forget about winter. I am tree. Yep. That was lovely, Scott. <laughs> that was really, really funny. I can see a lot of like people that like take stuff, that kind of stuff seriously, seeing that video and being like, oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> but the cinematography was actually really good. No, I, That was hilarious, Scott. You yeah, I, I just like, I, was, I took some money to the bank um, uh, and then I saw a tree, I was like, that's my tree. That's my tree, I am tree. I have withstood time, the test of time. But you guys know what else oh. has withstood time? What? The weather. <laughs> okay, no. Oh, we should, okay. We could go into weather if you want to. No, no, no. I want to do this. Okay, so you guys, this <laughs> super interesting news story that I found that I thought was cool was that so Hurricane Matthew, you know, swept through uh, the southern eastern part over there. Okay, so I know. <laughs> um, and so in on the shores of South Car of Charleston, South Carolina, they unearthed some Civil War era cannonballs. Mm. Sixteen of them. So that's pretty cool. So uh, fighting from the Civil War started on those beaches in 1863. So these are from around then. So they're over 100 years old, but they actually did bring in a bomb squad to detonate them, and they were still active. And so they were able to detonate them, but they were buried in the sand. I just thought that was so neat. That they're you know still alive 1863 just like trees yeah um yeah and so the island was occupied by 1300 13,000 federal troops in 1863 during the Civil War Wow yeah very interesting and then on another really really interesting note um you know Missoula is always so positive and everyone is like Woo, we love everyone a little so, too much a little know. too much <laughs> so a guy came in that uh, gave a presentation on Friday at the double tree and so he is an Iranian born pastor who converted from Islam to Christianity in 1999 and so he just came and he uh, had an event and he was talking against Islam and it was unveiling the true face of Islam a wake-up call for from the world so it brought Brought about 90 people to the conference, which they had chairs set up for 300 something, um, and but it brought even more protesters. So I thought it was interesting that Missoula had a bunch of they had this discussion, and then Missoula had a bunch of protesters outside of it. Um, One thing that uh, Missoula definitely protests is hate. It is, yeah, yeah. So and then I had never really, I don't know, I guess I never, I'd never really experienced a talk of, like this in Missoula because everything is always so positive and like trying to give us information. Um, 
And so, yeah, so that happened, and I thought it would be an interesting thing to point out mm -hmm. since there's so much controversy, and we do have refugees here, and so that brings a lot of different opinions about it. But speaking about the refugees, so we have five families from the con from that are Congolese, and they um, are from a lot of them are from Uganda. One of one family spent 18 years in a refugee camp in Uganda. But I wanted to share this little anecdote because I just thought it was so cute and so funny. Because you know they lived with like they had to get their water was like two thirds of a mile away from camp. They didn't you know they didn't have TV or internet or all these things that we definitely take for granted. So they moved to Missoula and they had a heater that was on their in their house but it wasn't working and so for five days it wasn't on wasn't working and then all of a sudden it just kicked in and started vibrating and it vibrated the whole house so they didn't know what to do so they just called the cops <laughs> and I just thought that was great because like if I was them and I was in the same this place you know I would totally call the cops too yeah like what's happening what is like vibrating my boiler. house yeah your boiler explosions are like the, yeah. one of the higher causes of uh, fires in homes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so that's what they were told to do. They always talked about fire alarms, but never about, like, what if the heater kicks on and you don't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, but the first thing that they wanted to say about Missoula is that in the camp they had to walk everywhere, but here they can catch a bus, and it's easy, and it's free. Nope. Um, yeah, and then everyone is really kind and welcoming to them. So that's awesome. So way to go, Missoula, for bringing in some refugees. Yep. But I do think that we should also take care of our homeless and our veterans. So hopefully um, they can put yeah, in we're, programs we, Me and Noel were having kind of like a little argument about... Uh, yeah. Oh, we were kind of having a, a, a pleasant discussion. More of a pleasant yes. discussion. <laughs> Although I like arguments kidding. better. Yeah. Because arguments are fun and, you know... They're I challenging. I don't want to do it. Right. Anyways, I, I, you need more energy to have arguments. Yeah. So I got my first... <laughs> it's the morning. I got my first story from USA Today about the Civil War era, era cannonballs, and then my last two stories were from the Missoulian. And they're all from today's paper, so you guys can read that, plus more. Yep. Yeah, so that's what I got. What I got for you guys is a little look at the weather. Mm -hmm. It's looking clear the next couple days, but it's also really, really cold. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, now until uh, noon today... Uh, we have a freezing warning, so if your windows are frosted, you can mine go check red. it outside right now and be like, oh, my windows are frosted. These guys were right. It's like, my windows were frosted. That's why I walked to work this morning. Yeah. It was cold. Well, you always you walked see, to work. I always walked to work. Yeah. yeah. My windows were frosted, too, and I was really glad that I was coming into work early rather than late. <laughs> so let's take a look. It is currently 25 degrees outside. Oh my today, gosh. your high you can expect it to be 54 degrees, so it's definitely going to warm up today. Tonight, it's going to be mostly clear with a low of 32, which is about freezing which is exactly freezing um you have your high on thursday which is going to be 61 so those clouds are going to help hopefully keep in a lot of the heat throughout the next couple days and of course you can expect a bunch of rain happening through your weekend wow it's gonna be 61 degrees tomorrow and it's like 29 today i feel like the temperature changes that our bodies go through are insane you know, because we can go from like being cold 21 at 9 degrees and then all the way up to 60. That's the nice thing about being warm-blooded. Instead of cold-blooded. Yeah, if you're cold-blooded, you, you can't live up here. And you're like a like lizard or maybe yeah. like a dragon. Well, something know. like that. Uh, like mythology, <laughs> dragons had warm blood. Anyways, um, oh, did they, Scott? Oh, uh, yeah, allegedly. <laughs> uh, anyways, so we have some new programming happening tonight on MCAT, and I suggest you guys go check it out. It's going to be great. A uh, bunch of brand new stuff. We have um, the ongoing series of the city bands, and we also have a couple candidates for them. And uh, we have the last best conference kicking off new programming starting tonight at 5. There was no meaningful work that I could see. And, and I don't want to be the one to harsh anyone's mellow here. I, if y'all think that Hollywood studios are beautiful, happy places where, where the, the good work of the world is done, I do not want to disabuse you of that notion. Um, for me, it was not. We would spend about 10% of our time doing work and 90% of the time plotting the overthrow of some poor person in another department. So it, it made me very, very sad. Um, and when I say sad, I meant like pull the car over on my way to work in the morning and sob sad. I didn't know what to do. I just didn't know what to do. I, I had this amazing job and I was so unhappy. Now somewhere along this journey I had had three kids. I know, I'm sorry Auntie Mame. I did not intend to do this. They kind of just showed up. They're still here. Um, and I wasn't prepared for that sort of fire hose onslaught of love, right? That, that crazy love where, where you just want to like kill a grizzly bear to, to, to protect your kids. Um, so that was sort of chewing at me. Uh, okay, I think this is a two-part question. So uh, first of all, 
Um, Medicare does support uh, in-home care. And I can tell you, uh, last year I lost three dear friends and uh, my mother. Uh, all were elderly. And it's a statistic that I wasn't aware of. got some community events for your day which is Wednesday so up first we have got pole fitness over at mask studio that's located at 1200 Shakespeare Street um, and that starts at 9 a.m. so mask studio has a lot of alternative fitness classes like aerial pole fitness they do yoga of course everyone does yoga um, as well as like fire spinning so they have lots of cool stuff over there um, at the Women's Health Club, starting at 9 a.m. all day long, they have a free Women's Health and Wellness Fair. So you can do, you can, they have booths regarding heart health, depression, skin cancer, and skin care, spinal screening, um, fitness assessments, massage, refreshments, and much more. Yeah. There's yoga at the Learning Center at Red Willow at 10 a.m. Uh, it's $12 a drop in or $40 for four weeks. At the Double Tree at noon, there is a Businesswoman's Network General Meeting. Um, there is a woman named Natalie Maurer that's going to be the discussion leader. The, she's going to be presenting um, and discussing how authentic living, living can add tremendous joy and deepen every connection in your life. So I guess she like worked at a job where she made six figures and then left it to be with her family and is so much happier. So that's good. So she's going to talk about that. Uh, at the Missoula Public Library, they have their Android tablets and smartphones class. It starts at 12.30. It'll be in the computer classroom. Just call 721-2665 to register for that. Also at the Public Library, they've got an afternoon matinee at 2 o'clock. That'll be in the large meeting room. Also at the library, they have middle school writers at 3.30. This is uh, for writers in grades 6 through 9 to get and give good feedback, play with words, and eat some chocolate. Which, I mean, you just go there for the chocolate, if anything. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Top Out Loud just got, is uh, celebrating the music of fish starting at 4.30. It's a fish-themed happy hour, uh, complete with drinks, trivia, and an audio show. And video. Yeah. Downtown Dance Collective has an adult ballet class. It starts at 5 o'clock. Also at 5 o'clock is National Fossil Day Celebration. You know, every day is some national celebration day. So today is National Fossil Day, as well as other things, I'm sure. Um, so at 5 o'clock, the University of Montana and the Charles H. Clapp Building on the southeast corner of the campus, uh, they're going to celebrate that. So they have activities which include rock and fossil identifications, tours of the research collections room, which only happen once a year, uh, a viewing of a short room about something I can't pronounce, <laughs> and a chance to hear about current paleontological research going on at the center. Okay, and then you guys, this one is super important. Over at the Kettle House, they have a community unite for Planned Parenthood. So you know Planned Parenthood is a nonprofit that does a lot of wonderful things. Um, and so 50 cents from each beer sold will go back to them starting at 5 o'clock. And then at Green Path Herb School, they've got a Green Pharmacy Foundations class. Herbalist John Gorkovich is going to cover uh, the foundation. So I think he's going to make, yeah, he's going to be doing herbal remedies and covers Green Pharmacy Foundations. So if you guys want to sign up for that, you guys can go to uh, call 406-274-2009. It's located at 180 South 3rd Street West. Over at the Zootown Arts Community Center, they have a glass fusing orientation class that starts at 6 o'clock. It's an introductory class that will cover the basics of class get, cl glass care, as well as how to fuse glass and everything else that goes along with that. And it's only 20 bucks plus the cost of glass. At the Public Library, there's a Native American traditional food demo that starts at 6.30 in the large meeting room. Um, and then they'll offer some examples for tasting as well. And then over at Mask Studio, they've got an interactive anatomy with Liam Bowler that starts at 6.30. It's a four-week series about anatomy and being able to see the human body from the inside out. Ooh. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. And like pink. I said, 
Mask Studio has got is like alternative fitness and does a lot of really cool educational classes about the body. So if you guys want more information about that or have questions, you can contact Liam at Liam at the body And it's located at 1200 Shakespeare Street. And then they also have a marketing basics workshop at 630 so you can learn how to market your class workshop or event. Um, and you guys can sign up for that on maskstudio.com. And we've got some music. There's going to be a concert at the Wilma Theater. The Wilma and Missoula has been getting a lot of really, really great music. Like this whole month, this whole year, we're very lucky. So Cold War Kids will be at the Wilma tomorrow at seven or tonight at seven o'clock with special guest the Strumbellas. Then over at Fact and Fiction, Michael Hodges is going to be reading and signing his book, The Invasive. That'll be at seven o'clock. And then also at 7 is Country Dance Lessons with Kathy Clark at the Sunrise Saloon. It's only $5 per lesson. And then at 8.30, they've got an acoustic show also at the Sunrise at Mel with uh, Melissa Ferretti. That should be cool. And then there's a karaoke contest at the Eagles. It's karaoke at the Badliner at 9. And then Milk Crate Wednesday, which is electronic music, is at the Palace also at 9. So that's what's going on in your community. We're switching gears now to Musical Notes with ASAP Adonai. It's Christmas time. In fact, it's Christmas Eve. Two of our guests on today's musical notes are walking down the hallway toward the living room. One is carrying a candle, the other a bowl of M&Ms. Santa is in the living room putting presents under the tree, under the Christmas tree, and hanging up stockings on the wall. One of our guests asked the question, So, do you think Santa will like these red and green M&Ms? The other one says, I don't know, I never met the guy. Our guests walking in the, they walk in the living room. Santa turns around, is momentarily startled. Our guests are startled, and one says, he does exist. And Santa says, they do exist, and two of them faint. Santa faints, and one of our guests faints. And then there's a caption that says, happy holidays, always fun. <laughs> Our guest on today's musical notes known to the world is Eminem's, and there they are. <laughs> Those are the two main characters in the Eminem franchise. And uh, to talk a little bit about Eminem's, Eminem's are a colorful button-shaped chocolate produced by Mars Incorporated. The candy shell, each of which has a letter M printed in lowercase on one side, surrounds a filling of chocolate. And the original candy had an M&M's chocolate filling. And then eventually they had what was called peanut butter M&M's, which featured a peanut coated in milk chocolate with a shell. And then they've had numerous variations since. They've had peanut butter M&M's, almond M&M's, pretzel M&M's, crispy M&M's, and dark chocolate. <laughs> like that one on there right there. Now, the M&M's originated in the United States in 1941, and they have sold in 100 countries around the world. More than 400 million individual M&M's are produced every day in the United States. That's a lot of candy. Forrest M, I'm sorry, Forrest Mars Sr., the son of the Mars Company founder, Frank C. Mars, got the idea for the candy in the 1930s during the Spanish Civil War when he saw soldiers eating British Smarties that had chocolate pellets around them. And uh, they were eating pellets with a little shell. So Forrest Mars secures a patent in 1941 and that's how the history of M&Ms got started. The M&Ms, they represent the names of Forrest E. Mars Sr the founder of the Newmark Company, and Bruce Murray, the son of Hershey, Hershey Chocolates president, William F.R. Murray. So that's what M&M stands for. Now, um, the peanut M&Ms, as I, in, as I mentioned, was introduced in 1954. In 2010, the pretzels were released. In 2014, Mega M&Ms were reintroduced and it was used in the promotion of the Shrek movies dubbed Ogre-sized M&Ms. Yum, yum. <laughs> At a 2016, M&Ms introduced their cookie ones. And also, this might be interesting here, in 2016, they had what was called a flavor vote, you know, where fans could vote for their favorite M&Ms. 
And um, it turns out they had like honey M and M's, coffee M and M's, chili nut M and M's, and uh, the coffee nuts was the winner for the V E E P awards, the um, coffee flavored M and M's. Nice. But of course, my personal favorite is the peanut M and M's. And so I just thought this would be a fun thing to talk about the history of M and M's and. Yeah. The characters that they've had over the years. I think everybody in the world at this point has had M and M's. When I think everyone yeah. can, I mean, you can easily argue that M and M's are like a clear favorite. Like they're classic. Yeah, they're, you know, they you are. Can't yeah. go wrong with M and M's. No, yeah, you can't though. beat that. So uh, let's see if there's any final thing I can say here. Just M and M's are spread all around the world, and if Shrek can have M and M's, so can ASAP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quit <laughs> on that note. Nice. Thank you much, very much, ASAP. I know I'll be buying M and M's later on today. <laughs> I remember those, um, those, uh, all those off-brand M and M stuff. It, it came in like a little tube. It was little, little ch- oh, yeah. plastic chocolate balls. Yeah. But of course, they melted almost instantly. They were terrible. They're, uh, but yeah, and that's funny because they have a slogan that says uh, M and M's they melt in your mouth, not in your hand. Yep. Yeah. But yeah. I've had them melt in my hand. Me too. I think that's well, awesome. yeah, like if if you put them on a stove, they're gonna melt too. <laughs> or in your yeah. hands. Yeah. 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 Uh, did you remember those mini M and M's? Those tiny. Oh yeah, mini yeah. M&Ms? yeah. Do you read the little ones? I've yeah. had. It's like those. I remember, like it was just like uh, this guy like had to keep it in container, and then like, when he opened it, it was like <laughs> it was like yeah. a tornado of mini M and M's, and those guys were like. Eh. M and M's had some good commercials too. Yeah, one of my favorites, the one, um, it's called the devoured M M&M. and M. Well, see, the the brown M M&M, and M, she's standing on top of the white grand piano, and she's having a conversation with this good-looking blonde lady, and. Uh, the lady says, watch out for this woman over here because she she just goes crazy with chocolate. <laughs> so the brown M&M asked the red one to go out on a date with the lady. And so they get in her car, and the M&M says, well, where, where are you going to go? Where are we going to have to eat? And she locks the door, <laughs> and she devours him right in the car. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't funny. think they'd show any kind of like thing because, you know, like, they're, they're no, candy yeah, they're, people. Yeah, but you can and hear the Eminem screaming with the, you know, they see a shot of the car. Ah! So. <laughs> nice, they sound, that's so funny. <laughs> Thank you very much. My pleasure. <laughs> All right, you guys, we got some more events. So now we'll just move out, go to my camera. Okay, is my hair all right? I'm just kidding. All right, so now we have stuff going on tomorrow, which is Thursday. Starting at 10 a.m. over the Providence Center, we've got our NAMI Missoula Weekly Meeting, a weekly meeting for anyone affected by mental illness or interested in learning about NAMI. At the Missoula Butterfly House and Sectarium, we have Little Bugs Early Education Childhood Network. So this is for children like five and under. They do uh, arts and crafts, and they also learn all about bugs and do activities and have some fun and stories and stuff. Uh, at the Children's Museum of Missoula, they have fork dandelions. It starts at 11, so they're going to make flowers out of plastic forks, which sound really dangerous, but I'm sure they'll have fun. Now, at the University of Montana, there is a discussion. It starts at noon. It's about climate and culture deep in the Delta. Uh, so Dr. Nikki Fear has spent three years leading UM students in hands-on studies of climate change impacts in Vietnam. So she is going to share the insights on how they gained Let's see, share the insights they gain into how this dynamic region is changing and adapting and provide an overview of the upcoming 2016-2017 winter session uh, trip that's going there. That's going to be in the UC room 333. At the Learning Center at Red Willow, they have meditation for veterans. It starts at 1.15. Um, that is at the Vet Center, 910 Brook Street, and it's a 30-minute guided mindfulness practice. Uh, at NAMI Missoula, located on 202 Brook Street, they've got their connection support group that starts at 1.30. This, so this is a free weekly support group for adults living with mental illness. At the public library, they have computer electronics in their makerspace. It starts at 3 o'clock. Um, it's from 3 to 6. You can work on a project of your choice and learn how to use their equipment. Lego Club is at the Missoula Public Library at 3.30. You have to be uh, 12 and older. Or if you're tw- younger than 12, you have to have an adult with you. And then spider feeding is at the insectarium at 3.30. It's Rosie, the Chilean rose hair tarantula. Every Thursday they feed her at 3.30. You can also uh, watch her eat and then learn about spiders uh, hunting and eating habits. 
And then at the Open Way Mindfulness Center located at 702 Brooks Avenue, they've got Flow Yoga with Rasa uh, that starts at 5.30. And then at the Good Food Store, they've got a cooking class, Hands on Autumn Pies. It starts at 6.30. It costs us $35. So they're going to do pay, basic pie dough, um, apple and cranberry pie, and then a bourbon pecan pie, sweet potato, and five spice pie. That sounds amazing. I'm all about that pecan pie. Um, at the University of Montana, at seven o'clock is a discussion and a lecture. It's an evening with Neil Kash. Let's see, Kashkari at um, the University of Montana, and so he is. Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis president and he's talking about his major initiative to end the too big to fail problem and he's asking questions about the risks big ban big banks pose the role of the Federal Reserve and what the Minneapolis Fed plans to do to address the too big to fail issue I'm not quite sure what the too big to fail issue is but uh, maybe it's just about like big banks and big banks can't fail or something like that but that sounds really really interesting especially to have a Federal Reserve Bank president coming here and giving a lecture about that. And surprisingly to me, like I think it's very surprising that Missoula has all these big banks. Like they're building that Stockman's Bank right on the corner of Broadway and it's huge. And I just don't like, do we need that? Don't we all go to the Fed cred? I don't know. I don't get it. Um, over at Taste Buds Kitchen, they've got a Taste of India BYOB cooking workshop. Starts at 7. So they're going to be trying their hand at all these different spices and exploring Indian food. And then it's $40 per person. It's a vegan, and you can also bring your own beverages. Mm. Yeah. Downtown Dance Collective has a tap dance class for adults starting at 7.30. Band in Motion is at the Sunrise Saloon at 8.30. Uh, at the Palace, we've got Newly Reds, Rot Gut Wines, and Alabama Death Walk. It starts at 9, <laughs> so I'm going to assume those are metal bands, as by their names. Um, open Mic at the Broadway at 9. Dead Hipster at the Bad Laner at 9 o'clock. Karaoke the Dark Horse at 9. And then the Scott Pemberton Trio will be playing at Top Hat Lounge at 9.30. As always, you guys can check out MissoulaEvents.net, the University of Montana website, and the Missoulian and the Independent for more events in your community. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But of course, oh, you can also find awkward. out more information about Wake Up Missoula by logging on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we made sure to write it out twice. You can see all our wonderful programs and more by clicking on all these wonderful links. You can also like us on our Facebook page at Wake Up Missoula. You can Oh, you can also follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. Facebook page. Sorry about that. MCAT also has a Twitter. You guys can follow us at MCAT TV Missoula. MCAT also has a uh, Facebook page. Like us on there. And then um, MCAT also has Hallmark or Bullmark. Yes. So it is time for Hallmark or Bullmark. But of course, I do want to uh, throw it into a PSA because uh, voting mm -hmm. is very important. And of course, this is some more information on what you guys need to know when you guys vote. So. When we come back, we'll have Hallmark or Bill Mark. Hi, I'm Kate. What are you doing Tuesday, November 1st? Do you know that you can vote early in the state of Montana? That's right. Come to the University Center Atrium between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. on Tuesday, November 1st to update your personal information, receive a ballot, and even cast your vote. This event is open to all eligible voters in Missoula County, not just students. If you're an absentee voter, you can also return your ballot to the elections office at the event that day. Have you changed your last name, moved, or had any other changes to your personal information? If so, you'll need to update this information with the elections office in order to be eligible to vote in the 2016 general election. This event will help you skip the long wait times we anticipate on Tuesday, November 8th. Also be sure to log on to my voter page at myvoterpagemt.com to check your voter registration status. If it says you're an inactive voter or have outdated information, stop by and update that information during the event. Make sure you're election ready and come hang out with us on November 1st. All right, we are back. And of course, our very own Ron Scholl has produced and edited about four of those nice little voting um, informational pieces Chats that you guys can check out. Mm -hmm. um, it's already on our um, MCAT.org page, so you can look at those videos anytime you want to know more about where to vote, or you can go to MissoulaVote.com. But of course, it is time for uh, Wake Up Missoula's favorite game show, Hallmark or Bullmark. 
Oh, that was too loud. Sorry yeah, about the clipping. Really loud, yeah. That was unfortunately loud. <laughs> Bullmark. <laughs> or Bullmark. <laughs> Hold on, let me adjust the. There we go. That's a little better. All right. <clears throat> when Frankie buys the vineyard of her dreams, she soon discovers that she may not be the only owner. Bom, bom, bom. With a little mix up with the hunky Nate, who suggests a contest on who can grow the most grapes by harvesting season, Frankie sees this as her chance to outgrow the competition. <laughs> okay, thank oh, you, Noel. But growing grapes in a vineyard isn't the only thing that can grow. Ooh. And the movie's called Autumn in the Vineyard. Is this a Hallmark original movie, or is this something I made up which would be considered bullmark? You Hence the what? game. I'm gonna say this is so ridiculous and doesn't really make sense. I'm gonna say Hallmark. Me too, me <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> Postcard rule waiting. Well, it is Hallmark. Yes! Congratulations, yes. guys. <laughs> that doesn't, right. like, I was like, that doesn't make sense at all. Grow the most. <laughs> That's a Hallmark movie for no. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you don't make sense. Anyways, uh, here's the next uh, edition of Hallmark or Bullmark. We always do it in round two, and here's round two. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> still suffering from the ug ugly duckling. Ugh, darn. It <sighs> still suffering from the ugly duckling syndrome that branded his youth. Harold White hires Annie Hayes, the pretty and popular girl he knew in high school, to be his dating coach. <laughs> Annie draws Harold out of his shell and teaches him to win over a new love interest with the help of their shared passion for classic love songs. Oh. But when sparks unexpectedly fly between student and teacher, both Harold and Annie must learn how to make up for past mistakes if they're going to hold on to true love. And the movie is called How to Fall in Love. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, I don't know. Is it like a play on words? Yeah. Would fall? I'm gonna, I'm going to say, oh my goodness, you guys, I don't know, I'm stumped. What about you, Asaph, do you have an idea? Yeah, idol? what do you yeah, think? I'm too. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Bullmark. You know what, me too, that's yeah. what I was going with. I'm gonna, okay, say, I'm gonna Bullmark. say Bullmark too. That's stupid. Yeah, I was going with that stupid. Well guys, you can't win every time, it is Bullmark. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we got yeah! it, finally. Nice. <laughs> I got two foot too. Mm. I just like it when Noel and I can stump the host. Yeah, I know, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, thanks yeah. for joining us, guys. Uh, if you're interested in being on our show, we do have a guest this Friday. He's doing a little dance tour around Africa. Oh, cool. And uh, I invited him to come on my show this Friday, and hopefully he'll be here. So he's teaching um, people in Africa some dance while also learning a little bit more about himself. Oh, and we hope to see him this Friday. Um, to talk more about this. So, uh, and if you're interested in doing that kind of thing, not dancing, but being on our show, uh, you can uh, call us at 542 <laughs> otherwise known as 542. MCAT. You can also email us MCAT at MCAT.org. That's very true. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, thanks for joining us, you guys. Yeah. For Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noah McFoy. And for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. Here's ASAP Adonai on piano, and we'll see you guys on Friday.